In the previous video we showed how you could do an AJAX callback to repopulate the choices in this drop-down box uh, on an AJAX callback and set the value over here. But in this example the display value and the stored value in the drop-down box was the same. Now in this next example here um, we're going to set the display value and stored value to be different. So I'm going to make an AJAX callback so currently the list is showing all the colors um, that are built into alpha 5 and now I do a callback and now you can see now that my list has got alpha new, beta new and gamma new. If I go and select uh, gamma new for example and then uh, hit the submit button and look at e.data submitted the actual value that was submitted is 3 which proves that the uh, stored value in the control was 3 and not gamma uh, not gamma underbar new. So now let's go back and look at the XBasic that uh, was called when I clicked this uh, repopulate 2 button over here. So going back now to uh, my XBasic code here, I can see that this function, newList2, which is uh, the function that is called by this button over there on the AJAX callback, is slightly more complex. So first of all, the, the format of the data that we need to pass now to this um, um, uh, populate drop-down box control, this, this data variable here, is now a JavaScript array of arrays. So you can see this is an example of what we'd like to pass back. You can see here we have a JavaScript array. There's the opening square bracket and there's the closing square bracket. But each item in the array is itself an array. So there's the first item in the array and there's the second item in the array and uh, this array has uh, two um, entries, uh, the display value and the stored value. So this is the XBasic here that we use to actually construct um, a list that looks like this over here. So we're creating an, uh, an, an XBasic array uh, and it's got display and stored. So we've got an array of three items with um, a property called display of alpha new, beta new, gamma new, and then a property called stored, which is one, two, and three. Then we create a an X basic variable called test and initialize it to just be a blank value. And then we use a very simple for each loop to loop over all of the items in this array over here. We set the arbitrary loop variable to AR and then we construct this uh, text string. We say that this text string is equal to the open square bracket over there. So that's that square bracket. Then the single quote, which is that single quote over there. Then the display value, uh, which is this value over there. But since we're constructing JavaScript now, we need to call JS Escape to make sure that, say, single quotes or CRLFs get properly escaped so that they don't cause the JavaScript to uh, generate an error. Then we have the closing single quote, which is that single quote over there. Then we have the comma and then the open single quote, which is that open single quote over there. Then we have a JS escape on the stored value, which is that value over there. And then finally the single quote and the close um, uh, square bracket, which is that value over there. And then we add a CRLF. So when we get to the end of the loop, we have a CRLF delimited list of uh, array entries, and then we convert that uh, into a um, comma delimited list, and then add the opening square bracket, which would be that value, and the closing square bracket, which would be that value over there. So there's our list and then we just replace this placeholder with uh, the list. So that shows you how you can now also do an AJAX callback to populate a drop-down list with different display and stored values. Thank you very much for watching.